Welcome. In front of me is the CMF Phone 1 and today I'll go through a setup just so you can see how you can do it. Now, uh, to get started, when you put it up the first time you'll be presented with the uh, hello page where you get to choose your desired language from this drop down menu and uh, yeah, just find the language that you want to use. For me it looked like it select English somewhere along the line, there we go. So I'm gonna stick with this one and you just press on the red button and we can now connect to mobile network by inserting a SIM card. Now this step is optional and it shows up here as a way for you to access the network and then have the option to um, log into your Google account, restore the device from a backup and also have the date and time set automatically. I'll be skipping both of those so Data and time won't be set automatically. Google login page won't show up and I won't have the option to restore the data. Anyway, next page we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn those off, all those off, but let's be honest, it's Google. So turning those off probably does absolutely nothing because Google sure shit will get their data somehow. Uh, next we have set a pin. Now you have a couple options, by default it opts into a 4 digit pin, but you can click right here, screen lock options, and choose also between pattern and password. And if you don't want to protect your device at all, that's fine, you can select skip right here, and skip once more. And this takes us to terms and conditions. You can tap on these highlighted areas, so end user license agreement and privacy policy, to read the entire ULAN that you are agreeing to. Next, we're going to select agree. And we have some experience improvement programs. You can go over those and check them on or off, depending on if you want them or not. System navigation. Um, it looks like by default it opts into gesture navigation. So all we would need to do is select next, next. It just shows us how to use gesture navigation. And this basically finishes up the setup, I think. There we go. Uh, nothing more, less, nothing, or nothing more, nothing less. Choose your visual style. Uh, up to preference, select whichever one you want. I'm gonna go with the nothing. And then there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.